Good day, guys. Um, just wanted to show you a little bit of our irrigation. Um, we're growing cotton through flood irrigation in uh, Mungindah, Australia. And um, yeah, just wanted to show you around a bit. But today we're irrigating two paddocks at once. Um, that's field 10 over there, and that's field 9 over there. Now, the reason we're doing that, we normally only do one paddock at a time, but um, Christmas is coming up and we're trying desperately to take the day off, so this is our best attempt. This over here, well, the distance over there, you'll see the wall of our storage, that's where we keep all the water. That's a 5,000 megalitre storage, so it contains 5 million litres of water. That runs into these channels, these supply channels. So we've got gates right down on the channel where the storage is, and down here. And then that flows through, and we have a gate here, which we open up and that runs the water into a head ditch. Now the head ditch runs the length of the paddock and from there we have siphons which go over into the forest. I'll take you along and I'll show you a little bit more. Right. Biggest thing to remember with uh, flood irrigation is you're letting go of quite a hell of a lot of water all at once. So whatever you start, whatever water you let go, it's got to go somewhere. So it's got to be regulated and the levels have to be checked constantly to see that, um, oh, to make sure that it's going to the right place. Before you know it, you can have swimming pools all over the place. Right here, I'll just pull up here and uh, show you around a little bit. That's our Caterpillar D7. That's a really handy tool for irrigating. When you do have accidents, it's good for cleaning up. Right here. Now, this paddock, paddock 10, uh, this is a Belgard Roundup Ready Cotton. We uh, started irrigating this yesterday. You can see these are rows that have come out. Um, so those, we've pulled the pipes off up, up the top of the paddock at the head ditch. It runs all the way down the furrows and it comes down in the tail drain. This is the tail drain you're looking at now. That tail drain will go right down to the end of the paddock and then um, it goes into another channel and that we pump back into the storage. Now I'll take you across here, I'll show you what a head ditch looks like. Now this is field nine the neighbouring field. Now there's our water running down. That water is coming from the channel. We pumped it into the head ditch. You can see it's uh, flowing at a fair rate. Oh, you can see. Well, anyway, it is flowing at a fair rate. And then what we do is we siphon it in a pipe over a head ditch. That's your head ditch over there. That gets siphoned into a rotor buck. The rotorbuck is the area just before the furrow, so that's your rotorbuck there. We make these rotorbucks incidentally using a rotorbucker, aptly named. And then that water runs from your rotorbucker into your furrow. And that'll run all the way down to the end of the paddock. I don't think you can really see now, but um, that's only down the paddock about oh, 100 metres. So it's got a good oh, 500 metres to go. Um, that'll be out in the morning. It's now 7 o'clock. So, yeah, that'll be out about five in the morning. You can see we only irrigate every second, every second furrow. That's your water furrow there, and next door to it is your wheel furrow. You can see there's, there's a mark from our cultivator time. So, every time we come into this paddock, we will only ever drive in the wheel furrows. These are more compacted. So, if we ran water down this row over here, it would break through the ridge and break over to the other side. You also run down a bit too fast and it wouldn't allow deep percolation or penetration of the water into the ridges. Now this cotton over here, this is, um, oh, which end of the paddock is it? We've got two cultivars in this paddock. Let's just see which side we're on. Okay, this is conventional cotton. It's rounded bready cotton, but it's, it's not bulgard, so um, yeah, we will need to spray insecticide probably uh, seven or eight times before the season's out. On the other end of the paddock, we have um, Bulgard Roundup Ready. 
which of course we can just um, spray with Roundup Ready as well. But it's um, resistant to, to oh, quite a few bugs in cotton. Right here, and that's beautiful Australian evening. Seven o'clock now, New South Wales time. We're on daylight saving. So uh, that'll be six o'clock Queensland time. And uh, the sun goes down here at about eight, in an hour from now. Incidentally, this is a nice cool job on a hot day. Sloshing through the water in the mud. Righty go. Let's take it down the other end. I don't know if you can see it through my windscreen with a little mud splatter on it. But um, I'm sure we'll get a general idea anyway. These paddocks are, um, they're graded. Well, they're actually um, using a drag bucket. They set to the grade of a drop of one meter and 1,500 meters. So every single row will come out, will run at the same, same time. Uh, it'll take, take the same time to get from one end of the paddock to the other. Um, and we have set them all at 12 hours. Uh, in this particular paddock, oh, there's my mark over there. Yeah, right at. So that is Bolgard Roundup Ready on the left, the marker, and just conventional Roundup Ready on the right hand side of that. Makes life interesting. As I said, we don't normally irrigate paddocks together. We try to poke along and do them all at, uh, one, one by one. But we're in a bit of a rush to get Christmas Day off, so uh, that's the best solution. These are heavy uh, black soils. Um, known as Vertisol soils, quite um, excellent soils for cotton growth, very, very good uh, moisture retention and um, exceedingly fertile, but they do need to be managed properly. Um, we can actually have quite a problem with water logging, so we have to make sure that we don't leave the water running too long down the forest. And um, yeah, this is the water coming out of field 10. It's running down a tail drain there. This is the side of field nine. Incidentally, we're actually uh, recirculating the water from field 10. We have a little pump just up the way here, and we're recirculating this, recirculating this water and sending it back to field 10. So we, we're, we're actually using it twice. And this here is a sluice gate where it comes into our collection channel. So the water is coming down from field 10, runs down in this tail drain, hops into a drop box, goes across the road or under the road, comes through another gate, goes into the um, collection channel. That runs all the way down 